Hi, I'm Stan, and this is my barn door. This is the first video in a series that's going to document the restoration of this bus back to its original condition. So this is a 1954 Volkswagen Microbus, Type 22A. Uh, they refer to as a barn door. Uh, barn door era buses uh, went from the first production in 1950 uh, until early 1955. And his name was kind of given to them because of the large engine cover in the back. It uh, has a fuel tank and spare tire stored above the engine, whereas in later models they moved those to have a larger rear hatch. So this bus came off the assembly line on uh, April 13th of 54, and it was uh, imported uh, to Volkswagen of Canada at Toronto on April 30th. At some point, it made its way to Nova Scotia and spent about 60 years behind a barn. I feel very lucky and proud to have this bus. Uh, they are quite rare, and to find one in my own province is pretty special. So the plan for this restoration is to bring it back to its original condition. I want to save as much of the original metal as I can. Uh, it's probably going to take three years to get the metal work done. It basically needs a complete disassembly of the body, uh, the chassis and everything rebuilt and reassembled. So this will be, this will be going on a frame jig. Uh, the body will be removed from the frame, the frame will be stripped down, and it'll start rebuilding all the parts and assembling back together. So I suppose there's to do a uh, walk around. So this is the right side, the good side. <laughs> if the whole bus had looked like this, I probably would have just restored the underneath and kept this look. Unfortunately, the other side is in terrible condition. So starting in the front, uh, the doors are in nice shape. This one actually is in really good shape. Just a little bit of rust here. Uh, the dog legs will need replacing. Uh, B pillar, of course, the bottoms are gone off of the pillars. Uh, the cargo doors are actually in nice shape. Uh, the only rust in them is at the very bottom. I just have to replace a little bit there. This quarter panel is actually in nice shape. <laughs> the bottom lip for the wheel well is actually perfect, which is quite surprising. It's had some fire damage. Uh, it didn't get hot enough to really damage the metal, just burn the, the, the paint off uh, and then rust. Uh, but it didn't rust much, so it's actually very repairable. Once these are all removed, uh, I'll be able to get them back into perfect condition again. So on to the rear. Uh, the rear is actually pretty good on this also. Uh, the rear window section is nice shape. Uh, Had to be replaced a bit around here with the rust. Uh, the corners are actually not bad. They'll have to be smoothed out or bent quite a bit. Someone has cut in a new fuel filler in the back corner. Uh, that's not original, has to be filled in. The bottom corners of these will have to be remade. The engine lid actually is the one part that's had a fair bit of fire damage to it. Uh, it's all warped. I'm not sure how I'm going to repair that. I may have to actually replace the flat metal. It's straight in around this section. Um, we'll see when I get it apart. Once it's stripped, I get the, this on the table. We'll see how it happens when I try to smooth it. The engine lid is not standard. Someone's added that, I'll have to replace that. The original bracket is behind the bracket they put in though, so that's good. So the spare tire tray, it, the front section is good, the back is pretty much missing. I'm hoping I can rebuild that. Uh, they're a fair bit to replace. <laughs> Plus I'd like to keep the original one there. The fuel tank has had the filler spout cut off that I may be able to just replace the filler on this instead of replacing the whole tank. I'd like to keep the tank also. It seems to be in fairly good shape, besides that having the top cut out of it. So the rear frames are rolled in. I think because somebody hooked on to these mounts to pull it, uh, they'll straighten pretty easy. There's not a lot of strength there. Uh, most 
So there's some metal around here it needs replacing, but a lot of it's good enough that I can actually repair. So you notice the engine looks a little out of place. I restored the drivetrain and suspension uh, so I could take it to a local car show uh, to show off the before condition. Uh, so this is the correct 30 horse or 36 horse, depending on where you are. Uh, and most of the parts on here are actually correct for it. Uh, I haven't restored the, the distributor generator or carburetor yet, uh, but the rest of it's been restored and rebuilt. Uh, the nose is bent badly, but it's not terribly rusty, so I can reuse this. Uh, we're going to need some metal replaced along the bottom. Uh, the windshield frame will need a few spots replaced in it. Uh, of course, all this is going to be coming apart, so once our pieces are separated, uh, they'll be easy to rebuild each individual one of them before they get reassembled. So on the front, there's quite a few bits that are still good. Uh, Quite a bit needs to be replaced, but it's not too bad. So the inside looks a little rough, uh, but this is pretty typical of old buses. And most of the parts in here will have to be replaced. Uh, the cross members and outriggers, the floor panels, all need replacing. Uh, luckily, the fenders are still in pretty good shape. The firewall is still repairable. Uh, the luggage panel will have to be replaced. Uh, it's too far gone. And it just, yeah, not much. So this is the bad side. Uh, these two openings were cut into it when it was fairly new. Uh, it had two doors. It had nice quality latches uh, with pins. And they kept the original windows and everything right in the panels. I'm not sure what they were for, but it was probably to load passengers in the front and possibly put luggage in the back. Because this would be a level with the, uh, the rear seat. And so this whole side will have to be rebuilt out of donor parts. Uh, ex except for back to here, I'll keep this section because these vents are in really nice shape. Uh, and the metal's actually not too bad back here. So the roof is really bad on this side. Uh, it had a lot of damage. I think it was rolled on its side at some point. Bent this up. Uh, and plus it's all, all the rust. So I'll be using a donor roof. I have two donor roofs. So I'll be using parts of those. Uh, I'll probably save some of the roof. I'll uh, save the front of this one and, uh, and then replace the back section. Uh, the roof rails I'll just put in all new. So the driver's door is not too bad. It's a little worse the fascia side. It's got a few dents. Uh, but I'm going to take the skins off the doors uh, to repair them so it'll be easy to remove the dents. The top frame will need to be replaced on this one. Uh, it's, it's not repairable. Uh, you can see where the front nose has dropped down over the frame uh, across this sag. So I guess that uh, brings us to an end on this video. It's my first time doing this whole video stuff, so bear with me as I kind of figure it out. The next video will be stripping this body uh, to prepare it for the frame jig. Uh, if you're interested in seeing that, please subscribe so you don't miss it. Uh, I'm going to add a bunch of uh, raw video to the end of this uh, for some that might be interested in the details. So that's it. Until next time.